welcome back friends once again in last video we were dealing about the types of the triangle based on the sides right now we are going to classify the triangles based on the angles okay so based on the angles you know based on the corner that a triangle has there are three corners in a triangle everybody know so how are those corners how are those vertex some people say angle as a vertex also or simply you can say how are the angles in the triangle based on that we can classify the triangles into the three types okay so what are those let me write here one by one okay the first type of the triangle uh, based on the angles is acute angle triangle and the second one is right angle triangle right angled angled triangle and the third type is obtuse angle triangle okay so there are major three types of the triangle acute angle triangle right angle triangle and obtuse angle triangle so first let's learn the acute angle triangle how is acute angle triangle this is the first one second one and the third one okay uh, acute angle triangle from the name itself if the triangle has all the angles acute angles then we can say that the triangle is acute angled triangle let me uh, give you an example that will you'll understand in more better way okay yes yeah, see this is this triangle in this triangle if you look all the angles are acute angle I meant to say all the angles are less than 90 degree right everybody know that what is acute angle acute angle means less than right less than 90 degree so let's suppose this is like uh, 60 degree mm. It is also 60 degree because this is uh, you know if you look this is all our sides are equal that's why uh, you can say like right now this is all here the all angles are 60 60 60 though it is uh, some people also say this is as a equiangular triangle so that's actually finally falls under the acute angle triangle because all the angles are less than 90 degree right so 60 60 60 these all are less than 90 degree so simply you can say that this is acute angle triangle now friend if you look in this triangle suppose this is triangle ABC then here angle A is also acute angle angle B is also acute angle and angle C is also acute angle here all the angles are less than 90 degrees that's why this is an acute angled triangle okay uh, let me give you one more triangle here if you look at this triangle uh, this might be like uh, 30 40 degree I don't know how much uh, but uh, this is acute angle again right suppose this is 30 degree and uh, if you look at this uh, this might be around uh, this uh, may be 75 degree uh, this may be 75 degree I'm just guessing but here 75 is less than 90 degree here also 75 is less than 90 degree here 30 is also less than 90 degree so what I can say that uh, this triangle uh, is an acute angle triangle and if you look at here also it may be something like it may be like uh, you can say 50 degree angle or it may be 45 degree 40 or 45 I don't know suppose uh, this is uh, 45 right I can write there 40 it it must be greater than that right and it's if it's fi 50 and this is 45 degree and now this this again this should be uh, less than 90 degree uh, so it may be uh, it must be 85 degree, right so 85 degree 50 degree and 45 degree. these all are here acute angle so that's why uh, acute angle that's why I can say this is an acute angle triangle mm. and actually major property I had forgot to tell you I think there when I was talking about the triangle uh, the internal angles the sum of the internal angles of a triangle is 180 yes I have told you there I, I'm sure I have told you right so anyhow you know internal angles should be 180 degree that's why I, I must say this must be 85 degree this is 50 this is 45 degree it means 50 plus 45 95 degree right altogether these are 95 degrees so this must be uh, such angle that will make it completely 180 degree so 180 degree right minus 95 if you do sorry minus uh, eight uh, yeah minus 95 if you do right you will get 5 and this will be 7 right 17 minus 9 uh, that will be of course 85 okay so 85 degree this is you can easy actually find out also what will be the f uh, another angle also that's uh, that's not the matter that I need to talk right now simply I need to classify the triangle whose internal angles are less than uh, acute uh, less than uh, 90 degree right so here 60 here 50 45 85 uh, 85 these all are acute angle let me give you one more now in this also figure if you measure right you will get certain less angle less than 90 degree you'll get here also you'll get less than 90 degree. here also you'll get less than 90 degree so that's why these all are these all whatever I have show you 
whatever I have shown you, these all are acute angle triangles. So simply, finally, I'm writing here means angles should be here. All angles, all angles, all angles less than 90 degrees, right? This is the main condition to be an acute angle triangle. Now the second one is here, right angle triangle. From the name itself, you are getting here right angle triangle. Right angle means 90 degree. So such a triangle in which you will get a 90 degree is called a right angle triangle something like this so uh, here if you see here exactly here this is the 90 degree this is the 90 degree since here is 190 degree directly I will say this is a right angle triangle this is a right angled triangle later we need to learn a lot about the right angle triangle because this is one, one, one of the very good uh, example uh, very good uh, triangle and uh, there is a lot of use in mathematics and not only in mathematics in other further science what you learn in futures everywhere you will use this much more important it is so you should know the properties what is called hypotenuse Th these all we'll be talking later just you should know right now how is the how is the right angle triangle so simply the triangle in which you will get a 90 degree any 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 one is the 90 degree that is that is uh, you can say right angle triangle now if you see here right here again if you measure with your protector you'll get their 90 degree so that's why this this is the symbol of 90 degree I think I had already mentioned you this 90 degree so this 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 triangle having a 90 degree angle is called a right angle triangle uh, okay I think you understand what is right angle triangle this is pretty easy now let's go obtuse let another another one is obtuse angle triangle so simply such a triangle in which there is one obtuse angle right obtuse angle is that which is greater than 90 degree right greater than 90 degree but less than 180 degree okay such angle which is greater than 90 degree but less than 180 degree simply greater greater than 90 degree uh, for example you can say like uh, 95 uh, 120 135 such angles but less than again less than 180 degree so less than 180 degree you can suppose everything like 177 degree 179 degree even right 160 degree anything between the 90 degree to the 180 degree these two will be not included 90 degree and 180 degree will be not included and everything rest of this everything will be there 179.99 this will also include and 90 point uh, 90.001 that will be also right but that is really difficult to measure that's another matter but it will fall under that right so obtuse angle you got it I hope you understand this for example let me do it here an obtuse angle triangle it will be somehow something like this exactly like this uh, this is just an example uh, of a obtuse angle triangle so here if you look this angle both are acute angle this is and this is acute angle and this is obtuse angle right this is obtuse angle this must be greater than 90 degree here this angle right is greater than 90 degree but less than 180 degree that's why such angle in which you'll get uh, an obtuse angle uh, that 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 triangle containing an obtuse angle is known as the uh, obtuse angle triangle and you know every time if that's obtuse angle triangle then that time you'll get first and the second two acute angles two acute angles so you can say in an obtuse angle there is one obtuse angle and two acute angles in obtuse angle triangle there is one of one there is one obtuse angle and rest of these two first and second this these two are the acute angles and here also if you go in the right angle if there is one right angle then there will be two uh, two acute angles so now here if you look acute angle triangle in which all the angles are acute every angle is less than 90 degree in right angle one is 90 degree and rest of these two are less than 90 degree both are acute angle rest of the two are this is also acute angle and this is also acute angle here is one right angle and two acute angles and in obtuse angle also obtuse angle triangle also one will be obtuse angle and rest of these two will be acute angle so this is all the classification of the triangles based on the angles right I hope you understand the triangles and we'll be talking more about these triangles and classification we'll be doing a lot of a uh, lot of exercises that will make you more understanding here what is triangles and the types of the triangle and these are really important to understand the uh, you know geometry how is geometry it will really help you there so try to get good concept in geometry it is really interesting and you'll get uh, you'll get really you'll have fun a lot of fun once you'll start having fun in mathematics and geometry 
then you thought that you are doing good you're doing good in geometry all right so we'll be meeting in the next video bye bye